How does geography influence the way people live? When have you ever used a map and how did it help you? Some of the best tools a geographer can use are maps and globes. What's the difference between globes and maps? Making and using maps and globes is a big part of geography. Geographers use both of them to picture the world and show where things are located. A globe is the most accurate way to show places on Earth. Because Earth is in the shape of a sphere, globes are also in the shape of a sphere. Globes have some advantages over maps. Globes are shaped like Earth. They show the correct shapes of lands and bodies of water. They show accurate distances and directions between places on Earth. Maps are not round like globes. Instead, they are flat representations of a round world. Because of this, maps distort what Earth looks like. Distort means bend or twist. In other words, maps will always show physical features of Earth incorrectly to some degree. Even though maps aren't as accurate as globes, they have several advantages. 1. Maps don't have to show the whole planet. 2. They can provide more details than a globe. 3. They can be stored and carry easily. And 4. They can focus on just one small area. In addition, maps tend to show more kinds of information than globes. Globes tend to show major physical and political features such as land masses, bodies of water, and countries of the world. They can't show more detail because then they would become too hard to read. Yes, some maps also show these features, but maps can be more specialized as well. One map might show a large mountain range, another might show the results of an election, or the locations of all schools in a particular city. One thing both globes and maps show are hemispheres. A hemisphere is half of Earth. These halves are divided by the equator and the prime meridian. The equator divides the Earth into the northern and southern hemispheres. The prime meridian and the international date line divide Earth into the eastern and western hemispheres. Maps are everywhere in the subway, in your textbook, at a website, or in a state park. Each map is different, but there are many common features. Some common features of maps are title, which tells what area the map will cover. The key. The key unlocks the meaning of the map by explaining symbols, colors, and lines. Scale bar tells how a measured space on the map corresponds to actual distances on Earth. Compass rows shows north, south, east, and west direction. But how is a round Earth shown on a flat map? To do this, geographers use something called map projection. This is when some parts of the Earth are distorted in order to represent other parts as accurately as possible. Some projections show the correct size of certain areas in relation to one another. Others break apart the ocean. Map makers choose a projection based on the purpose of the map. As stated before, the scale bar tells how distance is measured on a map and compares it to an actual distances on Earth. A large scale map focuses on a small area. Its scale might be 1 inch to 10 miles. This means that 1 inch on the map equals 10 miles on Earth. A small-scale map focuses on a larger area and has a larger scale. There are two basic types of maps, general purpose and thematic. General purpose maps show either human or physical features. A political map shows human features such as boundaries of a country. A physical map shows natural features such as mountains and rivers. Many physical maps also display elevation or how much above sea level something is. Physical maps might also show relief, or the difference between elevation of one feature and the elevation of another feature. Thematic maps show more specialized information. For instance, a thematic map might display different kinds of plants that grow in different areas, or it might show where ranching or mining take place. How do geographers use geospatial technologies? Cell phones and GPS devices use something called geospatial technology. Technology is any way that scientific discoveries are applied to practical use. Geospatial technologies help us think spatially about geography. 
GPS devices are one type of geospatial technology. They work with something called Global Positioning System. The GPS system is made up of more than 30 satellites that orbit the Earth. These satellites send out radio signals to GPS devices on Earth. GPS devices receive the signals from four satellites. They need four satellites so they combine the signals. This helps them calculate their exact location on Earth. Another type of geospatial technology is the Geographic Information System, or GIS. This system gathers, stores, and analyzes geographic information. The information is then shown on a computer screen as a map. Satellites gather information by something called remote sensing. This means the information comes from far away. Satellites might take pictures of land, or they might measure the amount of moisture in the soil. In the 2000s, GIS technology uses remote sensing to help protect plants and animals.